Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Test Solution Line. This tool is about uh, vector and raster data structures uh, for GIS. Okay, so different uh, data structure used in uh, GIS. Uh, some is a vector data set and some is a raster data set. So this uh, in this lecture you will learn about uh, these two data types. So that one is a vector and uh, second is a raster data set. Okay so this is a vector and a raster data you can see uh, at left side uh, the vector data uh, data is a point uh, which uh, represent from single points and the lines which are interconnected points so this become line and if you uh, connect four uh, uh, points uh, so this is a rectangular portion and this is the area okay so this is a, a, a vector data and at right side you can see the uh, raster data and raster data uh, you can see the points uh, which uh, is uh, represented by single cells okay and uh, uh, below line you can see that line uh, is uh, interconnected by uh, many cells uh, and uh, the area is also contains uh, 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 on a many cells so the last data uh, is uh, represented by pixels uh, and uh, that is a uh, uh, cells and vector is uh, by lines uh, points uh, and uh, polygon okay so what is vector data uh, vector data is uh, a representation of the world spatial data which is related to the area some place so using uh, points lines and polygons vector models are useful for storing data data has discrete boundaries such as country borders land parcels and streets latitudes and longitude and vector data are displayed in the form of lines points polygon etc okay so uh, in this vector data the latitude and longitude uh, is uh, displayed in the form of lines points and poly polygon etc okay so next is a uh, raster data a representation a representation of the world spatial data is a surface divided into a regular grid of cells raster models are useful for storing data that varies continuously as in an aerial photograph a satellite image a surface of chemical concentration or an elevation surface okay so this is divided in regret and cells raster data and in this raster data latitude and longitude in raster data are displayed are displayed in the form of closed shapes where each pixel has a particular latitudes and longitude associated with the enter okay a uh, vector data consists of individual points which uh, for 2D data are stored as pairs of x y coordinate uh, x and y because 2D so this is uh, in x y if uh, 3D data so then required x and y and z coordinates the points may be joined in a particular order to create lines are joined into close rings to create polygons but all vector data fundamentally consist of lists of coordinates they define vertices uh, and define vertices uh, together with rules to determine whether and how those vertices are joined so this is a continuous uh, uh, data uh, which consists of uh, uh, different uh, uh, coordinates okay the basic elements of vector data so location if 2d then xy are in space or this uh, xyz 
three coordinate sequence explicit uh, pegged to a coordinate system okay different coordinate system and precision required different values is for example uh, UTM is integer but large and latitude longitude as two floating points numbers and uh, plus and uh, minus positive and negative uh, points are used to build more complex uh, features so these are the basic uh, elements uh, of uh, vector data what is the advantages uh, uh, of vector data structure are um, good representation of phenomenology then uh, this these uh, data are compact data topology can be completely described uh, and accurate graphics retrieval updating and generalization of graphics and attributes uh, possible so these are the advantages of a vector data structure disadvantages of vector data structures the, so the disadvantages are complex data structures combination of several vector polygon maps to overlay create difficulties simulation is difficult because each unit has a different topological form display and plotting can be expensive particularly for high quality color the technology is expensive particularly for the more sophisticated software and uh, hardware so these are the disadvantages example of vector data are administrative borders linear features roads river discrete habitat boundaries so these are the example of vector data raster data raster data is made up of pixels or cells and each pixel has an associated value simplifying slightly a digital photograph is an example of a raster data set digital photograph uh, is an example of raster data set where each pixel value correspond to a particular color in GIS uh, in geographic information system the pixel value may represent elevation above sea level or chemical concentration or rainfall etc the key points is that all of this data is represented as a grid of usually square type of cells okay so this uh, this is a raster data basic element of uh, raster data so the extent is a uh, rows and column the raster data is uh, divided in rows and column uh, uh, the these data have some origins and uh, some orientation and uh, resolution which is a uh, pixel rain or red cell okay advantages of raster data structure so the raster data structure have the following advantages simple data structures uh, overlay and combination of maps and remote sensed image AZ. some special analysis methods simple to perform simulation AZ because cells have the same size and shape and technology is a cheap for raster data okay disadvantages of raster data structures the use of large cells to reduce data volumes means that phenomena logically recognizable structure can be lost and there can be a serious loss of information crude raster maps are considerably less beautiful than line maps network linkages are difficult to establish projection transformation are time consuming unless special algorithms or hardware is used so these are the disadvantages of raster data structures example of raster data temperatures air waters so this represented by raster data air pressure eco tones soil pH precipitation salinity raster 
real world elevation and its derivatives flow direction distance reflection and photography imagery so these are the uh, examples of uh, raster data uh, types of data model you uh, can see data uh, raster data model uh, cell or grid matrix and these are the continuous data and you uh, can see the upward uh, figure that are uh, represented by cells in the vector data model that is uh, represented by point lines polygon discrete data and the second uh, second last figure you can see this is uh, the vector data and uh, the third is a real world which uh, is a uh, you can see in the uh, last uh, figure and last picture okay the below picture is a uh, about a real world so this real world is represented in uh, vector data and uh, raster data in different uh, ways in vector data this represented by polygons lines and in raster data this represented by um, different uh, uh, cells and pixels representation of vector was raster raster data so you can see the above uh, data is a uh, vector data models and below uh, raster data model so first figure you can see the point and uh, below the point is uh, uh, represent in the raster by single cell and the uh, second figure is a line and the line is uh, represented by many continuous uh, squares uh, and the third is a uh, area and the area represented by uh, many cells uh, and uh, have the boundary and you can see in the third figure so these are the different uh, vector and uh, data model okay so the representation of a vector with raster data in this figure you can also see that vector with raster are discrete with continuous data represented by lines in vector form and in uh, raster you can see in a cells form so this is a river uh, represented by a, a line in vector and you can see in the raster you will represent uh, this uh, river in a different uh, uh, continuous uh, cells you can see in left side the vector data and right side uh, this uh, is the raster data okay so hope you will learn and you will understand it uh, and, uh, for new tutorial and for uh, new presentations and uh, on gs uh, lectures you must subscribe uh, this channel which is a uh, best uh, solution line bye okay